Number 15 for this weekend, must call it Banda. Um, 14, Wandilem Zekevu, and 11, Makazoli Mapimpi. Two centers, Burton Klaassen and Azuko Valunglu. Um, fly of Lionel Cornier captain, scrum of Louis Kreda. Loose forwards, number 8, Andisa Natila. <coughs> Blindside flanker, Tyler Paul. Open side flanker, Chris Clutie. Locks, Valenum van der Sleis and Arne Herbs. Um, Props, Ros Cronier, Vice Captain, Skalk van der Mer. Ros Geldener is Vice Captain, Skalk van der Mer will lose it prop and Martin Bezeden out hooker. Replacements, um, Kurt Hooft slash Tango Balakile. Kurt will uh, have to pass a fitness test tomorrow. The Captain's run. Chris Heiberg, Diane van der Westhuizen. Luba Balu met Janda, Stefan Willemsen, Johan Stein, Peter Stein de Wit en Nicolas Hannekom. Wat is het met Chris? Chris is ankel um, on Tuesday. En uh, we are we just nursing it at the moment and see how it recovers until tomorrow. I think everything went well, guys. We think we're well recovered. Uh, a lot of energy in the training session, a lot of excitement. Uh, um, yeah, we started out, uh, kept to our normal proceedings and uh, just built it up until today. And I uh, think yeah, today we had a good day and uh, we're looking forward to going into our captain's run tomorrow. No, I think our guys are quite focused in terms of what we want to achieve and what we want to do. Um, we, we spoke about it. Um, um, I think it's it's there's quite ex excitement in terms of getting better support and, and having the people here. Uh, um, we were glad that we could pull off a win last week, um, and uh, we just want to build on on that feeling and on, and on that energy that we got from from all the support. And um, I think the more support we will get, I mean, it will be more encouragement for the guys to do better. Um, yeah, I think they were, we we are aware of that, but um, I think we were we were very focused on what we want to do, and and uh, and we will narrow that focus down until Saturday. <laughs> Well, first of all, I want to say uh, we know that um, the props or the, the, the Sark scrum, the guys in the team are, um, are quality players. I mean, they, they spring box, so we acknowledge that. Um, but um, I also believe that we made a, a, a lot of a step up in terms of our set pieces, the, the couple of games that we had. Um, I'm quite confident that um, that our guys will be able to to compete um, in that in that uh, in that regard. Um, I think it's a it's a massive challenge, but um, we've also faced some tough opposition throughout the competition, and uh, and the guys just see it as a, as a as a as a next challenge to to do well and to and to. Uh, to challenge themselves against and against a proper opposition. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we're not going to highlight individuals, but uh, I think it's important. Scrumming, um, uh, it's it's also all, all about teamwork. It's about eight guys doing effective work to 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 ensure that we get go forward. Um, and as long as we concentrate on that, I believe we will have a solid scrum. Yeah, Giant um, has got a lot of experience in playing Super Rugby. Um, we've also been monitoring him when he slotted in in terms of his conditioning and, and his previous games. Um, if you also look at um, the Spanish co uh, his experience, um, I think he will also add some meat towards our, 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 our pack of forwards. Um, he's got exceptional talent in terms of, of, of his aerial skills. Um, and I think it's just maybe the right time to to introduce him now um, into this game as we built towards our, our last five final games where the, I think we're looking ahead against the teams that we're going to play that 
the, the challenge up front will just get get stronger and now we feel it's the right time to bring him in and to use his experience um yeah we saw you also played there against the sharks um maybe that will motivate him more to to come up with a little bit of more energy which we will need so yeah it's, uh, congratulations to him and then i hope he enjoy the day for the kings you see, Super Rugby, and uh, this is a, it's always there's always expectation, there's always pressure, um, and I think at this point in time we we're not gonna get we're not gonna get drawn into into uh, um, um, into things off field. Uh, we understand that. Um, um, how we got here in terms of the, the hard work that we had to put in and the focus that we need to add in, in to ensure that our processes and our systems go well. And uh, we're going to keep that same focus. Uh, we still believe, um, are we happy with the two wins? <laughs> and, uh, but we still have a lot of respect for our opponents and we're not going to get uh, ahead of ourselves in, in expecting... Um, things um, differently. We're just going to continue and do the same things from the start and and try to improve on the areas that we need to improve. And there is there is still a lot of work that we can do. <coughs> you know, is there anything that makes the Sharks game a bigger game than the others? I mean, apart from the fact that you've got two, two wins on the, on the Sharks, um, that makes this one a bigger one. I mean, there's so much hype around it. No, I don't think... <laughs> To be honest, I think uh, when we when we started out our campaign last year, we said to ourselves, "Listen, we wanna we wanna ensure that we that we win that we improve 100 percent on, on on last year's performance." As I said, and we we won three games. Now we we, we still got to win another one to, to 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 reach that. And then also, I mean, the Kings have never won a, a South African team, so that's a that's another um, challenge for us out there. But um, I mean, we we still playing three South African teams, two after that, so it's it's it, it it's still a, a possibility, uh, something that we can work work towards. I think maybe the high piece uh, around this is because of the fact that we've we've done so well in the past two games, and also because um, we've lost narrowly against them in the in the first game. Um, but uh, I mean, you've you've seen in, in Super Rugby, if you don't keep your feet on the ground or stay focused in terms of your, your new challenge that lie ahead. You can't. You can never dwell on past performances. You must. You must just step up. And I, I for sure know that the Sharks will be total different competition. Um, this this game come around, and uh, we <coughs> also will be a much. I think a much improved team as as uh, we are, we've been uh, in the last game. Um, so I think there were these areas that we've grown um, from there until this one. So. I think that the additional hype is maybe because um, um, there's there's much more support from from the public and uh, and and focus on 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 the performance as a result of our, our our last two games and that's nice to have and it's it's good to see that the people are starting to enjoy our brand of rugby and um, I think part of our aims of outcomes was also at the start that we would like to to get more support or get the people back into the stadium and, and, and play for the the Metropole and for the franchise. And if this happens, I mean, that's also a step for us in, in the right direction in terms of what we've set, our, set ourselves out to achieve from the start. And, and that's good to know. Now, what's the actual game you're expecting from the Sharks on Saturday? Uh, I think the Sharks will definitely bring their physicality. I mean, it's, I think you can clearly see in the team that they've chosen that they're going to be physical. I think their set piece will be good. Um, also, I think they've got very exciting backs as well. So I think it's going to be an all-round really good game to play and to and to watch. Could this game give us into a battle of the week between you and Pat? <laughs> yeah, it could, but yeah, it's difficult to say. I mean, it's not there yet. So we'll see how it goes. So now, the coach was just talking about the fact you haven't been to South Africa, another South African team. That's unfair really to ask you the question because you've only been here for one season. But is there a psychological barrier that you have to cross against South African teams that maybe you've already crossed when you played 
I mean, historically, the Kings have beaten the New Zealand team back in 2013. They've beaten everybody else. But is there sort of maybe a psychological barrier that needs to be crossed? I think the biggest psychological battle was just to get onto a winning, a winning, getting to a winning culture. I think mm -hmm. in developing our culture and, and the workshops that we've had in the in the preseason and the build up to the campaign was to make sure that we can we can we can start winning games. So I think the biggest the psychological battle for us was to create a winning culture and getting to a, a position where we, we can win games and, and we've definitely done that and we can only focus on staying positive within our camp and keep working on on our strengths and making sure that we can keep executing that and, and the results will take care of itself whether it's against uh, Australian South African or New Zealand side so for us it was just making sure we can we can get into that that frame of mind. Yeah. There's so much hype in our, around this game, you know. There's a mini sense of the 2013 US team, South East <coughs> team, Desert Wolves, how that is successful the way it was selling. How have you managed to keep your players grounded? Um, and I'm going to say, I'm focus on the focus of 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 Net die diezelfde proces gevolgd vanaf dag 1 tot nu toe. Met die focus op um, ons moet verbeteren, ons wil verbeteren in, in, in elke wedstrijd. So ons het die aspecten geïdentificeerd van onze spel wat belangrijk is. Um, ik denk, um, ons het ook gepraat over dat ons niet moet vergeten dat, um, dat wat ons gedoen het in die verleden, wat ons hier gebring het, dat ons niet dat nou weer de achterdier moet uitgooien nie, maar dat ons moet voortgaan. Om, 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 om daarop te focussen en te zorgen dat ons jaren werk inzet en die wedstrijd benader, zoals ons enige andere wedstrijd benader. Ons is dankbaar voor die ondersteuning en die feit dat mense, die, meer mensen die wedstrijd wil komen kijken. Ik denk dat zal ook ons aansporen om dit nog beter te doen. Maar uh, ons, is, ons, is, ons is gefocust op, op onze taak en ons, ons het respect voor onze opponenten en ons wil het gaan naar harde wedstrijd wees en dat ons op onze beste moet wees en, en dat is onze enigste focus. No, definitely. I mean, um, it's good to have our two teams um, that is part of the franchise playing. It's also a great opportunity for the guys that is just outside the, the selection outside the 23 squad to put up their hands. We had an in-depth discussion and a straightforward discussion about that uh, this coming uh, or this uh, this past Monday. Um, so it's important for those guys to step up also and, and, and to impress. And I think there will be a there will be a few battles, individual battles, but um, hopefully I think also will be a very nice game and a and a nice curtain raiser and for for, for what Eastern Cape rugby is about.